Back in Madison Square Garden, it's the second meeting of the season between the Rangers and the Washington Capitals. The veteran Olaf Kolzig in goal has played 665 games with one team, the Washington Capitals. Mike Richter, 666 right ahead of him. Henrik Lundqvist has been strong. He continues to see sixth in the league in goals against average is 1.82, making his 39th consecutive start for the Rangers. This game is brought to you in high definition by Panasonic. It's time to bring back family time. Panasonic, ideas for life. And we're underway. Fourth game of six consecutive home games for the Rangers. They are 2-1 and one thus far on the homestand. They open up with Brandon Dubinsky centering for Colton Orr and Ryan Holwig. Good take. That puck was out of the zone. Brought back in. The Rangers are offside. Washington got off to a great start this season with three straight wins. Since then, two and six. And there is Brendan Shanahan, as we mentioned, now with 1,300 career points. The 29th player all time to reach that mark. And he continues his fabulous career, which will ultimately have him take up residence in the Hall of Fame. Still has plenty left in his game, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. Fans roar for the hit. The puck is cleared out, and Colza goes out to play it. Tom Rennie started that line with Colt Orr because of that man who just dumped the puck in. Donald Brashear started for Washington. Roosevelt and Malik on defense. We're talking with the Caps head coach Glenn Hanlon prior to the game and he said the last time they were here which was the Rangers home opener Washington barely touched the puck he felt that the Rangers controlled the game from start to well finish. yeah and the other thing he said was after that game they really went on a swoon Ovechkin with Victor Kozlov that shot goes wide around the glass Gomez able to get it to Yager, try to get it back, and gave it away to Ovechkin. Boyd Gordon is the center for Kozlov and Ovechkin. Nice move by Kozlov, centers to Gordon, save with the glove, a beauty by Lundquist. Long shot was blocked in front by Malik. And that shot by Ovechkin is a save. Rangers have had trouble getting out of the zone here a couple of times. Now it's Yager able to work it out. Now remember last game it was it was Tom Ray that decided to play the Gomez line against the Le Cavalier line the top line for Tampa Bay and they did a heck of a job so he goes power against power again to start this game but a good first shift by the Ovechkin line. Brought in deep by Drury Caps last game was Monday night in Toronto and they really put a whipping on the Toronto Maple Leafs won it seven to one Shanahan centers missed by Dawes. Sam, they scored, they scored four goals in that first period wow. there and dominated. Backstrom for Pettinger, saved made by Lundquist. So Washington skating well and challenging the Rangers early. Matt Pettinger with a shot wide. Nylander is on with Pettinger and Backstrom. Nicholas Backstrom, 19, the rookie, former first-round draft pick of the Caps. Well, Washington felt that even in the last four or five games prior to the Toronto game that they played they played well enough to win but they had all kinds of trouble scoring goals but they broke out the in fact they had five players that scored their first goals of the season in that Toronto game. Paul Mara drops it off for Fedor Tutin. Betts is on here with Colton Orr and Ryan Holwig then Jason Strudwick excuse me. Sean Avery remains out. He will skate hard tomorrow. The Ranger coaching staff monitoring his progress, and it's possible it's a maybe that he could play Saturday night. Right now, they want to be very careful with Sean Avery, make sure he's 100%. Oh, Sam, he plays that style, which is so reckless that we know, and he's always in somebody's face and always hitting somebody or getting hit. And you've got that kind of a, of a problem, you know, you tend to want to just take it easy and make sure he's as healthy as possible right. before putting him back in the lineup. Now he could get hurt in warm-ups the way he plays. Lundquist put it in the corner. Brooks like number 21, kicking it to the boards. Brashear after it. 
like against Roosevelt. Now Brashear chasing. Malik is there. Brashear with a hit. Good forecheck pressure by the Caps to start this game. We're a little over four minutes in. No score. Well, you think back to the game that the Rangers won against Washington earlier in the season. Rangers are on the power play most of the first period. Dubinsky on with Pruka and Hallway. Long shot by Tutin goes wide. Dubinsky chases it down. Brashear lost his stick, has it back, and the puck moved up. Jeff Schultz, Mike Green, number 52 on defense, able to move it to Dave Steckel. Here's Green. Good offensive player is Green. Caps without former Ranger Tom Pody. Along with Alexander Semin, a couple of key players out of the lineup. And Chris Clark. And Chris Clark as well. Took that slap shot in the last minute of the game against Vancouver, a home game. Got hit with an Ovechkin slap shot in the year. Oh, that puck almost bounced into the crease, and Coles have got to be careful. Good play by Yager. Turned it back. Gomez shot deflected wide. Sam, they estimated that Clark had somewhere between 60 and 80 My stitches God. in the air, and he's still not ready to come back yeah. and play yet. The upper part of the year was severed. Yeah. Malik was bumped by Kozlov. Kozlov puts it in the corner. Ovechkin, that goes by Boyd Gordon. Now Ovechkin, checked by Roosevelt, goes the other way. Nice moves. Try to get it to Boyd Gordon, it was blocked. Ovechkin shot goes wide. Both times this line has been on, they've kept the puck in the Rangers' defensive zone. And their defense are aggressive, Sam. They're, they're getting involved in the forecheck, just like that one. That was the third time they pinched in on this shift to keep the play alive. Rangers turn it over in the neutral zone, put it back. It's put back in. Malik goes to play it, swings it around for Shanahan. He's tied up by Kozlov. Kozlov took it away, but the back pass out of the zone. And Brian Pothier goes back to get it. Six and a half minutes gone by. First period. There's no score in the game. Rangers have yet to get a shot on goal. And Caps a couple, have two. A couple of chances and miss the net. Nicholas Backstrom. Good rush and the shot into the chest of Henrik Lundqvist, who holds on for a faceoff. Here's a look at our Panasonic digital replay. We've talked about Dan Girardi and how he's gotten stronger in the offseason. How about this hit on Brooks Light? Good, solid shoulder hit. Light goes down. So does Girardi. And what a save by Henrik Lundqvist. That was on Boyd Gordon after a good feed from behind the net. And then Coles, it comes out to play the puck. Almost gets burnt. There's the puck. Oh, right in the crease. And Coles, it gets a little help from his defense. And then Yager with the elbow up a little bit on Morrison. That's been, that's a key matchup to watch. It's time to bring back family time. Panasonic ideas for life with the digital replay. Remember Nearly seven minutes in. Sorry, Sam. Remember last game when Morrison hit Yager yeah. kind of away from the puck, got him in the jaw? These teams have uh, played some physical games, yeah. as we recall from last year as well. Backstrom's pass blocked. Good play by Paul Mara. Drury to Dawes. Dawes, Drury, and Shanahan the line. Dawes takes it deep. Set up for Mara. Shot block. Nice play by Nigel Dawes. Oh, was. He had to wait. Brought the other way by Michael Nylander. He waits and is blocked. Good play by Mark Stahl. Shanahan got knocked down and taken down by Nylander. Fans reacted. Nothing called on the play. Gomez back for the puck. Shanahan might have been shaken up a little bit on the play. It was kind of an awkward collision. He's obviously he's a much bigger player than Nylander, but he went down awkwardly. Now here's a different matchup. Rangers have their top line against Washington's third or third line, I guess you would call it. Sotheby, Bradley. Well, the first two, the first two shifts of the game with the Gomez line out there against the Ovechkin line, the Ovechkin line was yeah. better. They had the puck in the Rangers end. Sotheby, Bradley, and Fleischman are the line for Washington. There's Morrison going at Yager. Skated all the way across to give him a shove in center ice. Morrison moves the puck up. There's 
Bradley looking. Long shot stick saved by Lundquist. Merrill with a hit. Bradley plays the puck back. Long shot by Erskine was blocked. Nice play by Peter Fruka. He got He's hurt. hurting. Yeah. He is hurting. He gave up his body to block the big slap shot by John Erskine. Along the boards, it's centered through by Steckel for Brooks Like, like number 21. Long shot blocked in front. Good play by Brandon Dubinsky. He's done a good job on both ends of the ice. He's taking care of the defensive end, and he feels, he was telling Joe and myself this morning, that by playing and gaining the coach's confidence, it helps him get more playing time. Couple of blocked shots there. The original shot got through, and Polzig made a save. Now the puck goes up into the netting, and play stops. 9.20 gone by, and Pruka hurting on the bench after blocking the shot. Is that a smile? <laughs> He usually is what a play. smiling. Oh. Yeah, it's just a big time play. Got hurt on the play and then used his glove to clear the puck out of the zone. It's just a tremendous play. Just giving up oh. his body to make the play. It's outstanding. And then just prior to that, it was Brendan Shanahan. He went he went down awkwardly. He and Nylander collided. I don't know if he got the stick yeah, in some way been. or not, but it was something it was somewhat awkward. And even going to the bench, he still looked a little uncomfortable. New York Rangers hockey is being brought to you by Budweiser who thanks you for being a designated driver Nine Washington. and a half minutes into the game Washington's had a good start hey, yes Sam? they've, had a, they've well. had a good start no penalties here in the first 10 minutes here's Ovechkin saved by Lundquist five shots on goal for the Caps only one for the Rangers now it's top line against top line again Yager has the puck controlling pass knocked down by Ovechkin coming back. Brought the other way and dumped in deep. Ovechkin chases against Malik. Boyd Gordon there to play it. Ovechkin to Morrison. Saved by Lundquist. Puck loose. Rebound save. Oh, a great save on Kozlov. And he covers up. Lundquist with another great start to the game. He robbed Victor Kozlov's bid to break the scoreless tie. Here's a look at the cannon goal cam. Ovechkin in on the forecheck. Takes control of the puck, and this turns into the Henrik Lundqvist story right here. One save, two saves, three saves right there. Great saves by Lundqvist as Washington is off to a good start. Boy, they're attacking the net, getting the puck through. And Henrik Lundqvist, he's just, yeah, he's just got that vision of where everyone is on the ice and, and the awareness and pretty good saves. He was telling us at practice yesterday just his experience and the knowledge of the shooters and uh, he's playing a little deeper in the in the crease and it's all adding up to some outstanding goaltending improving digital imaging at work home or play Canon image anywhere. Lundquist is fifth in the league in goals against average 1.82 sixth in the league in save percentage coming into play tonight at 930. Shot by Mike Green goes wide. Backstrom puts it in the corner. Tootin goes to get it against Nylander. Yeah, you got to watch Green. There he is oh, pitching he in. He's, pitch he's a good in. offensive player. Three goals on the season. Take away by Drury. Drury and Shanahan. Shanahan winds and fires. Save. Rebound loose. A big collision and Kolzig is shaken up. Drury skated into Kolzig. On that shot looking for the rebound. Kolzig shaken up on the play. Yeah, it, it started off to be a two on one. Matt Pettinger misplayed the puck at the blue line, and when Shanahan looked up, he saw Pettinger come back, so he elected to take the shot. And what Drury and good forwards will do is they'll go right to the net. And Drury was looking at the puck when the collision happened. Here's the misplay here, and now here comes Drury and Shanahan. And Drury just goes hard to the net. Hard to the net, tries to find the the rebound as the puck was laying there. And you can just see Kolzig's in an awkward position as he throws his right leg out and then has to keep his right leg out because that's where the puck was and he saw Drury coming. Hard shot by Shanahan, difficult to control. 
And then Drury doing what he does, going to the net, looking for a loose puck, trying to get a rebound, and there you can see the legs collide. The right leg of Drury, the right leg of Kolzig. Kolzig's a tough guy. Oh, He's, no he, he, he doesn't stay down on the ice unless something bothers him. He's a real competitor and a tough guy. And well, he doesn't look he's, too good. No, huh? he's he's shaking here. Watch watch Drury's follow through with this with stick, the stick here. Oh, gets and him! Oh, got some gets him right in the jaw, Sam. He was swiping at the puck, guessing as to where it was, and the stick comes up. Boy, he hits him right in the jaw, right in the low part of the mask. I think that's where you could you could see. Kolzik kind of moving his jaw around a little bit, and he stays in there. That's a hard hit with the stick. 9.07 to go in the first period. There's no score in the game. To the face mask, huh? Yes. Something they didn't have quite a few years ago. Tonight's the night, Joe. It is, isn't the it? The anniversary, the Jacques Plant. Jacques Plant brought out the face mask. Wow. And who was there but our own Stan Fischler? We have first-hand account of what went on that night. Battle along the boards. Sean Morrison able to move it up ahead. It's cleared out. Penalty upcoming. First penalty of the game. Coming to the Rangers. That puck deflected, knocked down by Lundquist. And the Rangers will be shorthanded. The cap Marek Malik goes off. The Caps have been skating here in the first period. There's Jacques Plant. This is November 1st, 1959. 50, uh, 27 years. What's my count here, Joe? 47, well, 47, 48, 48. 48. There yeah. we go. There's Jacques going in, putting the mask on. And the rest is history. That was the practice mask that he used. The other one that we saw in the locker room, that was the mask that he wore when he came back on the ice. And boy, have they changed. 48 years ago. Right? Wow. I remember Ken, I remember Ken Dryden saying that he thought the biggest change in, in goaltending, this was say 10 years ago when I interviewed him on the radio, he said his brother caused the biggest change in goaltenders because of the face mask and really making it better so that the goaltenders could go down and use their head as something else uh, to stop the puck below the crossbar, which in the old days, the head was always above the crossbar. What Henrik Lundqvist does. Malik is off for holding at 11-12. First power play of the game, and the puck is cleared. As we mentioned, the Rangers' penalty killing has been outstanding, giving up only one power play goal over the last five games. And Sam, a change. Alex Ovechkin playing the left point. If they can get the puck to him, he'll take that one-timer. He scored one like that against Toronto the other night. Caps They're... were offside. Win a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Toronto to see Mark Messier's induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's coming up. The Rangers-Leafs game is that Saturday night, and there's a whole lot more. Listen to Mike and Mike tomorrow morning on ESPN 1050 radio for your chance to win the blue shirt legend clue you'll need to win is Mike Richter. What a trip that will be. Oh boy, that'll be something special. Fleischman put it wide. At the point green with a drive wide. Oh, he's got a hard shot. Yeah, Donald Brashear on the ice also, so they want him in front of the net to try and screen Lundquist. November the 10th, Rangers and the Leafs. November the 12th, the induction into the Hall of Fame Monday night in Toronto. And the puck out of the zone, and another good penalty kill. Rangers 23 for 24 over the last five games plus on the penalty kill. And the one shot Washington did get was easily stopped by Henrik Lundqvist. Yager Gomez and Dawes on here. Caps move in. Kozlov on the puck. Gets the shot off. It's kicked away by Lundqvist. Good save. Well, he's got a good wrist shot, Kozlov. Gomez against Sean Morrison. 
Good battle along the boards. Uchina, number 23, lost it. Gomez had it taken away by his former teammate, Victor Kozlov. Played together in New Jersey. Good play by Girardi. Kozlov with Yager on him. Boyd Gordon shoved to the boards by Fedor Tutin. Yager, good effort along the boards. Yager's made a concerted effort to come back deep in his own zone, helping out defensively. When we talk about team defense, that's been the story. Yurchina after the whistle with the hit. The Rangers were offside. Yurchina knocked down Nigel Dawes. Dan Girardi is wearing a, wi a wireless mic. We'll hear from him in just a moment. Try first, high or low? I think they're coming high. Yeah, I think they're going to be coming down. I'll try it. if I get it and I got time. I got to look for Jew in the middle. Yeah, sure. So I got to just, you know, yeah, hopefully someone talks to him. I hit the in the one like he's wide doing? open. Over to me. Hey, come, come back across. You know what I mean? I yeah, Dan Girardi's talking about what they noticed that when we talked about it, the defenseman for for Washington pinching in on the board, so he doesn't want to just throw it around the boards. And that's what he was saying to Nigel Doss. Come across the middle instead of going around the board. I'll give it to you in the middle of the yeah. ice where there's more room. That was going into a penalty kill as he talked to Brendan Shanahan. But you also get a chance to listen to Dan Girardi and hear him as a leader on the ice. Yeah. This is a young man in his second year in the NHL who has really been very, very big, very, very important part of the Rangers' defense and taking charge on the back line. Moments ago, one of the Ranger heroes of the 1994 Stanley Cup championship run, Stefan Matteau, introduced to the crowd. Big acquisition in a trade with Chicago, helping the Rangers win the Stanley Cup with the big goals against the New Jersey Devils, a couple of overtimes, including the game winner in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final. John Erskine fires it around. It's tipped out of the zone right here. No score in the game. Just under five minutes to go in the first period. Rangers have picked it up a little bit. They're being outshot 9-5. to five. Caps have skated very well. Kozlov against Stahl. Stahl's had a good first period. Quick shot saved by Lundqvist. So is Lundqvist. Yeah, so is so, so Ovechkin. <laughs> <laughs> this line's been good. Kozlov, Ovechkin, and, and Gordon, who is a checking centerman. Dubinsky got knocked down. The puck deflects up into the netting and play stopped with 4.26 remaining. You know, Stahl's made a lot of good plays here in the first period. It looked like Kozlov might have beaten him on the play. See the pucking or the, the puck bouncing and rolling a little bit. Look at the stick. Reaches out. He's got that long stick, and the stick always seems to be in the right position and does a good job against Kozlov. Mark Stahl will be John Ginone's guest in the studio following the conclusion of the first period. Peter Fruch is okay after blocking that shot earlier, did not miss a shift. Brooks light for Washington. A wrist shot knocked down by Dubinsky. Plays it to Pruka. Jason Strudwick is on the line here with Pruka and Dubinsky. Rashir. And Dubinsky sends it back in. Kolzik moves it to Brashear. Fedor Tutin. Nylander with a takeaway. And the puck deflects off the glass. Nylander moving it around for Pettinger. Nylander, good play against Girardi. Brian Pothier. And Pettinger chases with Tutin on him. One thing the Rangers wanted to do was try and put a good forecheck on the Washington Capitals in their own zone, but the play has been in the Ranger right. end most of this first period. Good pass, Tutin to Drury. He's one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Schultz. In the corner, Dawes. 
against Pothier. And Nylander able to play it to Pettinger. Up ahead off the stick of Backstrom, and Roosevelt has control. Dawes finds the bouncing puck, leaves it for Gomez. Back for Dawes. Gomez a little too unselfish there. Yeah, but you can kind of feel this line starting to come together, though, can't you? With Gomez and starting to figure out Yager and some of his other line mates. Not there yet, but you can tell every game there seems to be a few more things that happen. That Ovechkin, nice move, but a good block by Roosevelt. I agree with you, Joe, and I think a lot of it. Here's Kozlov sliding it in front, knocked away by Gomez coming back. Side of the net, the backhander went wide by Gordon. Sean Morrison moving it. Gordon behind the net. He backhands it in front, another good play, this time by Malik. With Kozlov on the doorstep, Malik was able to take it away. Boy, perfect positioning. Kozlov would have had an easy tap in on the other side of the net. Osa around the net. Finds the shot saved by Kolzig. He found Girardi coming in off the bench for the quick one-timer. Ovechkin gave it back to Tutin. Hey, Washington, the, the reason why the Rangers haven't been able to put much pressure on here in the first period, Washington's done a real nice job with their first pass in their own zone. Now, that first pass always seems to be on somebody's stick, and they, they're out of trouble. And then they're able to get the puck in the Ranger end. Woo, Bradley with a big hit on Tutin. And Washington's been good on the forecheck. They've been getting in and taking the body. They've done a good job. A good road effort thus far for the Caps. Well, one thing that's been a staple since Glenn Hanlon has coached this team is they have always worked for 60 minutes. They put in a good effort, and you have to work to beat them. If you don't, then, then you just you won't win. Under a minute to go in the first period. No score in the game. The good news is the Rangers have gotten an outstanding goaltending effort once again from Henrik Lundqvist, and the game is scoreless. Bradley against Mara. Up the boards, your Chena shot was blocked out of the zone by Nigel Dawes. And Sam, the shots are 11 7, so only a differential of four, and that's Washington has the 11 shots. But I, I'm sure that if the coaches, when they look at scoring chances, they're not even close. I think you're right. Quality chances, the edge to Washington. Good hit by Roosevelt on Steckel. Final seconds of the first period. Some hard work along the boards. Out in front, Brashear shot to flex into the netting as the buzzer sounds, ending the first period. And for the Rangers, there's the best player on the ice, Henrik Lundqvist, with another superb start to the game. His goaltending night after night has been brilliant. And he kept he kept Washington off the board. They got some good chances. Washington was real good around the net. They were really attacking the net, trying to get shots. And a very alert play right there. That's a play by Malik. And you could see Kozlov on the other side. They would have had a little tap in had Malik not been not been there. And Pruka gets a little bit of a stick, accidental high stick by Ovechkin, and keeps going. And then Tutin getting hit hard by Bradley down the other end. Let's find out the Rangers view of things. Assistant coach Mike Polino with John Ginone. John. All right, Sam, thanks very much. So has the forecheck and the physicality of Washington caught your attention? Yeah, it sure has. They're coming at us hard, but uh, I like the way we're responding. We've had some good forechecks as well, and we've had some good hits. That was a great hit by Danny Girardi in our end, and Ryan Hollig's doing some good things up front. Your penalty kill has been terrific as of late. What are you guys doing so effectively? I think we're really buying into what we have to do to be successful, John. We're getting in the lanes, we're uh, standing up at the blue line, we're getting good pressure from our first forward, and we're counting on Henrik to make some big saves. Thanks. Thank you. Assistant Coach Mike Polino, Sam. Thanks, John. This is the Mercedes Intermission Report. And leading off, John Giannone in the studio with Mark Stahl. We're back at Madison Square Garden where New York Rangers hockey is brought to you in part by Canon. Improving digital imaging at work, home, or play. Canon, image anywhere. And by Hip Health Plan of New York. Now that's hip. 
End of one period, Rangers and Caps no score. This is the Mercedes Intermission Report. And let's go to the studio to John with Mark Stahl. All right, Sam, thanks very much. And it is great to watch the maturation on an almost nightly basis of Mark Stahl as an NHL defenseman. That first period, it seemed like Washington carried most of the play. Your assessment? Yeah, they were, uh, you know, they're in there quite a bit. Um, you know, Henrik played unbelievable period for us, kept us in the game for sure. So I think, uh, you know, we need to come out next period and work a lot harder than we did that period. Last time we had you in here a couple of weeks ago, you talked about the speed of the game being the biggest difference between where you were and where you are now. Has even in the last couple of weeks that speed slowed down a little bit for you? Yeah, it's felt a lot better. I think, um, you know, every game I'm feeling more comfortable and getting adjusted to everything. So, um, you know, the last, uh, last few games have been pretty good and hopefully, uh, you know, I just keep getting better. You hit the crossbar the other night on a shot from the point that close to your first NHL goal. Have you given any thought to what that's going to be like when you finally score? Uh, probably relief more than anything. I think just to get the, the first one uh, out of the way is, is, uh, is nice. So I think that, you know, if it goes in, probably uh, obviously be really excited and, uh, I think that uh, I'll be relieved as well. Thanks for joining us. Right, thank you. Mark Stahl fitting in very comfortably on the Ranger blue line. We are scoreless after one. Rangers and Capitals, plenty more to come your way right here on MSG. Capitals nothing, Rangers nothing after one. Our Mercedes intermission report continues with the one and only Stan Fischler. And we are going to talk about the men between the pipes. And I guess, Stanley, there's no debate who was the best player on the ice in the first period. Well, no doubt about it, uh, King Henry, just fantastic. A cavalcade of saves. Before the game, I asked Glenn Hanlon, former goalie with the Rangers, who's the best goalie in the league? And he put Lundqvist right up at the top. Really? And uh, we're going to see why, because he does it every way. It'll be kick saves. It'll be getting in the proper position, and we'll see them all here. Yep, these are your Mercedes highlights, and he does it with the glove. He does it with the body, and even when his defense lets him down for a moment, he saves them as well. Well, we're going to see a great shooter. I think Kozlov is as good as anybody. We're going to see a sequence. Of course, here we're seeing Lundqvist. He's in pr proper position all the time, but I have to tell you something. I don't see anybody better right now, and that includes Roberto Luongo. Luongo is considered one of the best. Right now, Lundqvist is right up there, if not number one. I'd pick him number one right now. Yeah. At the other end of the ice, Olaf Kolzig really not called upon to make too many saves. I believe the Rangers had seven shots on goal in the first, probably just one or two good scoring chances, but maybe the best save he made was his own health after taking a stick in the face. Yeah, he saved his life. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like uh, Drury might take his life away from him. But, you know, they say this is the toughest job in sports, and this is exactly why. I mean, this guy gets whacked in the face. He's a tough guy. He came back. You got to give him all the credit in the world. Does it remind you of 48 years ago tonight on another Garden Ice? I was there, Jacques Plant, November 1st, 59, and it was early in the first period. Plant got whacked in the face, and Andy Bathgate slap shot. It looked like he was just going to bleed all over the ice. He went into the room, came back, and he put on the mask, and everybody in the building got a case of lockjaw because it was like uh, roughly equivalent to seeing somebody from Mars. You know, it never <laughs> been seen before. His coach told Blake, didn't want him to wear it, but he said, I'm going to wear it. And he said, the next game, I'm going to wear it too. Blake said, you better win. And he rolled off a 10-game unbeaten streak. And one more time, Blake said, please play once without the mask. He did. He got killed. And that was the end of it. He wore the mask from then on. And then won or tied seven more games after that. Great stories, as always, from Stan Fischler. We'll hear from him after the second period as our Mercedes intermission report continues when we come back. Trivia. And Stan's giving me his points. <laughs> It was another great night in New York, about 60 degrees or so. New York Rangers hockey is brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance. Visit us at GEICO.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. And by New York Lottery. What a day for a daydream. Play New York Mega Millions. Hey, you never know. Let me hear you sing that, Joe. What a day for a day, Drew. What a All day right. for a day. What a day for trivia. Oh, yeah. uh, not that good. <laughs> Who holds the Rangers' rookie record for most goals in October? That's the Rangers' rookie record. Rod Gilbert, Don Murdoch, Tony Almonte. And fans in the arena are participating. Fans at home, you can text one, two, or three to MSGNY. And we have Stan and John. 
What do you think, boy? Let me tell you something. Having Stan alongside instead of Al is like going from a pamphlet to an encyclopedia, so I'm sorry. That's why you're getting my points. Thank you, sir. Oh, listen to this, John. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know that Al is DVRing this game. He's going to hear your comments, John. I'm fine with that. Look, I, I give it to my line are. mate. He's my line mate. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dan Girardi has been good enough to wear a wireless microphone for us tonight, so let's check out some of the things he's been saying on the ice and on the bench. Go, go. Hey, 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 hey. Let's up, feet through, feet through. Hey, hey. Go, 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 go. Over, over. Does he, does he? Go, 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 go. Pass. Nice job, buddy, nice job. Uh, the communication, huh? That Tom Rennie and the coaching staff has been drilling it into these players. Communicate more. I want to hear you on the ice in practice. And when you play against a team that's forechecking like Washington is, they're getting on top of you quickly. You better get some verbal help from your teammates on the ice as to where to go with the puck because you don't have much time to look. Tom Rennie has been concentrating with his team to make sure they're ready to go in the second periods. There's Colton Orr and Donald Brashear opposite one another. Having a little conversation before puck drop. Yeah, huh? Just asking how you're doing. Did you like the, your night in the city last night? Where'd you go for dinner? Well, Washington's been here for a couple of days. Mara and Stahl on defense. Betts, Orr, and Strudwick up front. Played across to Jeff Schultz. Brian Pothier up front, it's Brooks Light, Dave Steckel, and Donald Brashear. Brashear shoved to the boards by Colton Orr. I think Colton Orr is being more the aggressor on this. I think he's trying to change a little bit. Washington had the better of the Rangers in the first period. I think Colton Orr is trying to kind of get something started here, get the fans into it, get a little excitement going for his team. And Donald Brashear, I think, recognized that and kind of, you know, just decided to ignore that because his team has had the edge so far in the game. Yager almost took it away from Pothier. Roosevelt's got it toward the net, tip, and Yager swiped at it and went wide. Gomez working against Boyd Gordon. Boyd Gordon, when he made his NHL debut, one of his wingers was Yaramir Yager. Hand pass whistled against the Rangers. Now, Yager had a chance. The puck was kind of bouncing and rolling on him a little bit, so it seemed to get it off the heel of his stick. But a good job by Yager to get in and help on the forecheck, cause the turnover. And then Yager, as he's been doing, as we've seen, boy, he's skating. He's moving to the net. He's putting himself in a position. Hosa with a shot, and Hosa got a piece of that. Good setup from Yager to Hosa. And a quick release. Sovechkin moving in. He gets a shot off save. There's a big rebound. And it looked like Malik's stick was being held by Boyd Gordon. Oh, he made a good play, though, defensively on, on Gordon. Ovechkin with a good hit on Roosevelt. Malik is without a stick here. Hosa gave it away. Shot by Kozlov off the glass. A little careless play by the Rangers. And they need to get there. Malik now gets a stick from Hosa. A long trip to the bench. So the Rangers haven't been able to get it into the offensive zone. Now they do. Shot by Shanahan. Saved by Colsing. Everybody's got the right stick now. Shanahan. Try to get it through. But a good play by Erskine. Shot by Girardi. Save. Rebound Drury. Couldn't put it in. As he got tied up by Urchina. They battle around the net. The Caps move it up. Shot by Tutin. Gets blocked. Now it's Drury. Off the skate of Girardi and out of the zone. Uh, that's a good job by Dawes and by Drury to attack the net and keep the puck alive. Here comes Dawes. Shot blocked by Urchina. Rangers with a good start to the period here. Yeah, a little bit more jump. Huh, Sam? More jump. Trying to get in a little oh. quicker on the forecheck. Nylander. Ran into Girardi. Oh, good hit. Good, solid hit by Dan Girardi. 
Matt Pettinger, he got knocked down by Girardi. Got to be careful there. That was a shot to the back. That was a part Close. of the game plan is to hit Girardi, or pardon me, hit uh, Nylander and take him out of the play, finish your check. Pettinger and Girardi. Somebody's glove came off. Girardi's right glove. Tootin able to move it out. Kruka driving to the net. Drury, and it was tipped away. Big defensive effort by Matt Pettinger. That one goes wide. Hallway, Kapruka off his stick. Out in front, it's knocked away. Drury slides it wide. That was Pruka on the follow. Now Drury getting to the bench, and Betts has come on. Strong start to the period by the Rangers. Skating very well, now it's given away. And Brashear, rather Nylander, brings it across and winds it deep. Fleischman out of the corner. Tomas Fleischman. Rangers now even in shots on goal. Now one ahead, excuse me. Rangers 12 and the Caps. Or Caps 12 and the Rangers 11. Look at my math straight. Yeah, yeah, the Rangers have a better start. I think that's the only math you need right now. The Rangers have a better start. They're more energized in this second period than they were in the first. Alway able to slide it down, but this would be an icing on the Rangers. 4.35 gone by in the second period, and a good start to the period for the Rangers. And here's a series of Panasonic digital replays. Tootin with the long pass up to Pruka, and that's an odd man rush. Pruka attempted the pass across and just deflected the other way, and in front, down on the ice was the stick of, of Malik. That's why he didn't get penalized. And Gordon skated right into him. Good job defensively. And the Rangers in this period have done a better job just going to the net, getting the puck there. And then look how everybody just heads to the front of the net, keeping the play alive, quicker on the puck, more chances around the front of the net. A lot more energy by this Ranger team. It's time to bring back family time. Panasonic ideas for life with the digital replay. Rangers have bets. Holwig and Orr on the ice. Betts dumps it deep, and the Rangers change. Good job by Blair Betts winning the faceoff and gaining control. Ovechkin. Now Kozlov, broken up by Malik, sends out Hosa behind Gomez. And a good play by Gomez taking it away from Boyd Gordon. That was Malik again just prior to that with another good job with the stick. He's made he's made numerous good plays in this game just having a stick on the ice and in the right position. Offensively I think this line has been out of sync. Gomez Yager and Hosa defensively they've done a nice job. You know you tend to think you know when you got a player like Ovechkin on the ice across from you sometimes it's just easy to think about stopping him. Gomez to Yager save by Kolzig and he bats the rebound into the corner. Nice setup, good save. Back the other way Ovechkin with Dave Steckel. Shot it wide. It's a big body Steckel. Looking to set a screen in front Gomez tied up with Kozlov. Roosevelt reverses to Fedor Tutin, who's come on with six minutes gone by in the second. Sam, I, I mentioned that it's easy to look at Ovechkin on the ice against you and think, boy, I gotta think defense. He just made a play where he hits a Ranger in his own zone, knocks him off the puck, picks up the puck, goes all the way down the ice and gets a scoring chance. That's oh. what kind of player he is. He's got the full package. Long shot by Pothier, saved by Lundquist, and he holds it. 6-21, gone by, second period. Rangers and Caps, no score.